I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic any system of authorization whether as a result of personal sin whether as a result of territorial sin or foundations and bloodline by the mercy of God I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of god says should be in the name that is above all names i bring to end those patterns now i bring to end those patterns now patterns of untimely death patterns of perversions patterns of delay patterns of limitation be broken now patterns of poverty and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations i stand by the power of the holy ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking you love god you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of jesus i decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud i command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars manikesh shabarata ebre katoskadia makabraskada latoshenekete ebre ketebarata in the name of jesus I bring to an end the reign of such priesthood. Their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal. They will not receive any answers again. We shut the realm of the spirit against them. We shut the power of the sun against them. We shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them in the name of Jesus every medium of expression ceases to work for them if there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of jesus that sickness leaves your body now. Help them, please. That sickness leaves your body now. High blood pressure, diabetes, hepatitis, in Aparish It leaves your body now. Lumps and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go i curse it now in the name of jesus yeah. hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common 
there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now hallelujah there's someone you don't hear well with your right ear the power of God is touching you right now right now as I'm speaking right now as I'm speaking the power of God is touching you your right ear I don't know if it's that you don't hear completely or you hear partially but in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I decree and declare that ear opens now that ear opens now that ear opens now for all of you who are here by the Spirit I declare be released into that ministry be released into that dimension of grace let there be supply from heaven in the name of Jesus the Christ of God songs from the throne in the name of Jesus you will bet songs that nations will sing do not despise his ability at work in you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God I decree and declare new dimensions in the name of Jesus and by extension everyone here who is a worship minister in the name of Jesus I declare supernatural songs songs with power songs with fire songs of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in the name of Jesus Christ ah. oh death where is your sting I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a family that this week if not for this prayer now I'm seeing that there is the spirit of death but in the name of Jesus the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come on two of those people blotting out every handwriting my Bible says and every ordinance that speaks against us I command the spirit of death in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God be banished from the life of God's people be banished from every family in the name of Jesus same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love hear me any family represented here inside all the overflows outside and online every pattern of death that will not let you rest I come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus the Christ of the living God I declare that the plague of death comes to an end now the plague of death comes to an end now the plague of death comes to an end now you shall not die but live. I prophesy life, life to you, life to your children in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. You can take them back to their seats. Hallelujah. Whilst you're seated, just begin to pray in the spirit. This is what we do. We are people of the spirit. We are spiritual people. Please pray.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to get to the word, but there are people here you have gone through untold seasons of stagnation. Marking time, sit down. Marking time in one place. And it looks like the only thing moving is your age. Nothing else is moving in your life. Listen to me. There is a grace for speed that the Lord is saying I should release upon people. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. As I pray this grace upon you, we'll do this just in five minutes and I'll sit down. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to help them because of the way the Holy Spirit operates under this prophetic word. Because they will begin to run, literally. And I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God, here at Koinonia, I declare upon everyone under the sound of my voice, by the spirit of grace, let speed come upon your life. Take that grace now. Please bring them up. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that. Help them, please. Take that grace. Bring them out, please. Take that grace. In business, take that grace. Take that grace. In ministry, take that grace. Ten years in one, I prophesy to you by the spirit of grace. Receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Supernatural accomplishment by the spirit of the living God. Receive the grace for speed. Outside, overflows, online, the grace for speed. No more delay, no more retrogression. It will not happen at a natural frequency. I shift you by prophecy to a spiritual dimension of achievement. Bazanji Soro. Bazanji Kunga Ba. Please make sure you are receiving it. Listen, let me tell you this. It is only marvelous in our eyes when it is the Lord's doing. I'm saying it again. I don't care how long you have been in that position. By the spirit of grace, may speed come upon you. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your family. I break the stronghold of delay. I break the stronghold of retrogression by the Spirit of God. Have that moment, please. That woman on black, I'm seeing oil being poured on her. New levels of speed in the spirit. This is the house of God. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. For all of you who are in front here and for as many who are connecting, grace to run. I shift you speed in your life. Grace to run. Supernatural by the Spirit of God. Supernatural by the Spirit of grace. Your life will be a wonder first to you and to everyone who cares to see. I prophesy again in the name of Jesus, your life will be a wonder first to you and to as many who can see. Listen to me. Please listen to me. Our possibilities in this kingdom are predicated upon the kind, the level and the dimension of grace that is upon our lives. It is true. 
I'm not wasting your time. This is by the Spirit of God. Because there are certain testimonies that are long overdue. And in the name of Jesus, I push you into them. I push you by prophecy. I push you into them. I clear every barrier that vows that you will not move. This is koinonia. Step into that prophecy. Step into that dimension. Step into that prophecy. Step into that dimension. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. For every one of you who is out here, I pray for you. The evidence of this that has come upon you, may it appear unto all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will return with strange and shocking testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, please return back to your seat. Let me perform one more function. You don't have to come out. But the Lord is leading me. If you are here and you are walking and you are overdue for promotion, just stand up where you are. The Lord is speaking to me. Listen to me. There is a God in heaven. Oh, don't get too used to the pride of men. There is a God in heaven who regulates times and seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the word of the Lord sent to me for you, I declare by the Spirit of God from this week coming, not next week, by the Spirit of grace, I decree and declare step into the level that is due you through favor, through grace, as far as your career is concerned. In the name of Jesus Christ. It didn't take long for Joseph to rise. Joseph said, let there be searched for, if you can find, a man who is discreet and wise. And the king said, there's no man. And instantly, he was promoted to be a prime minister. One of the things I hope we learn is the power of the supernatural. The supernatural is not about falling down and rolling up and down. Programming spiritual possibilities by the ministry of the word, the ministry of the spirit. You will always not look like it, but there is a grace that keeps shifting you into it.